All right, so in this video, what we're going to take a look at is another one in the field readings, but this time around, we're going to look at the close open log. And typically, this is something that you would use as being your first um, analysis after the operation of the breaker, because it gives you a really clear picture as to what elements, protection elements, have caused the operation, or if it's come from a PC or, or um, a controller or the HMI or, or so on. So to reach that, you'll see that if I go back to my device manager, um, we're online with the real field device here, and you go to the field readings under that contextual menu, and you click on close open log. Now, with the close open log, it does give you quite a lot of information about what's going on there, and even a capture of the last samples that occurred um, prior to the event. So it is quite a lot of data there for you to be able to start your analysis. So. With all of the logs, the default way around is that the newest events always appear at the top of the logs. So you don't have to scroll all the way down to the bottom to find out what has happened. And in this case, I've just created a, a basic overcurrent fault um, at a very low pickup level in order to be able to generate a full auto reclose sequence here, um, going from the first close initiated from my um, laptop here. And then we see a first open operation opening on the overcurrent one forward direction element um, with a maximum current of, um, look here, we got 12 amps, which is the highest 12 amp on phase B. Not exactly the world's biggest overcurrent fault, but it is above the pickup level. Um, then we have the close initiated from the auto reclose for all the current elements, so overcurrent, negative phase sequence, earth fault, SEF, and well, it's a hybrid element, but your neutral admittance element. Um, of course, we have another open then because the fault's still present. Close from the auto reclose, open a third time, last close attempt, and of course, then it goes to lockout as the last one. Now, when you're doing your own analysis in the field uh, and you want to be able to check to see what the timing is between any of these, like on any of the other logs, what you can do is just use the control button and click and you will get um, information between two different ones as to what the time difference is um, between each of those individual elements. So that can be useful. You'll see in this case, we have a 20 second reclose time there. Um, so yeah, 20.14, um, 1.4 milliseconds afterwards. So um, yeah, it gives you quite a lot of granularity as to the performance of, of the device there and what's exactly going on there. Now, it doesn't have to be a protection operation that shows up in here. Um, you'll see that, for example, a HMI close operation or a PC initiated close or lockout. Um, in this case here, we've also got more overcurrent ones. But if there's any change to the state of the breaker, then that log will show up inside the close and open log. So hopefully this is helpful for you. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, to follow on and pick up more information about how to use NodePal CMS or any of our other products.